Hey, what's up, everyone? And Naughty Llama here, and this is the final, uh, final video for the Brewers franchise. So the last uh, series I played was against the Mets, which is like a week and a half or two weeks ago. I haven't put out any videos for this, which uh, I've been really busy, and I just haven't um, played this game at all. So this is an older game I played like a week ago. I just didn't get around to posting it yet. <coughs> I've been kind of busy with schoolwork and crap, but um, I don't know. I'm off all this week for uh, Thanksgiving, so that's kind of cool. And then I get like a month off for. Uh, Christmas, which would be kind of nice, or right after Christmas. So, um, we ended up simulating the uh, Colorado series there, and I took it in five games. I simulated some of this World Series against Detroit. Uh, we're up three games to one, so I wanted to play this elimination game here. Um, I'm going to end up pitching Garrett Cole against Justin Verlander. Uh, neither pitchers have that good of an ERA. Cole's is like 3-8, I think, but uh, Verlander's is pretty bad there. You can see it's 6-12, so, um, I don't know, his, uh, he can't pitch in any World Series this year. He kind of sucked. He only played one game, though, which, uh, I thought the Tigers were going to play him in Game 4 of the World Series this year, which, uh, I don't mean, know, this is a pretty bad World Series. It was very, um, boring. I think I only watched, like, two of the games. I didn't even watch the final game. Um, I mean, it just really wasn't a memorable World Series at all, but, uh, yeah, I've been playing a lot of Black Ops 2 lately. That game's pretty fun, which I'll make another video about it, probably after this one, but a lot of people complaining about it. It's too hard. I think that's what makes it better. It's not too hard. It's just different. You can't, um... So a lot of people on Twitter crying because they'll go like 50 and 5 and then the next game they'll go negative or something. And I think that's what's cool about the game. You can't just dominate every game. Every other Call of Duty you can put up like 50 and 60 kills easily. Or at least I could in Ground War. And this one's a little more challenging. So I like that they added some new elements and stuff into the game. But uh, to get on to this gameplay here, they had uh, two runners in scoring position. Prince Fielder hits a uh, sack fly there to left field, deep left field. So throw the ball. I get a throwing error there. My left fielder couldn't uh, throw it to A-Rod. He jumped and missed. So... They'll score a ran or a ran. They'll score a run and uh, a runner goes to third base with two outs here. So I'm in a little bit of trouble. Uh, I get the next batter to ground out the second base there. So uh, and that as best I could. I only end up giving up one run there, which is kind of nice. Uh, Q are in the uh, top of the second. They've got a runner on second and uh, drops in the left field and bounces over the wall for a ground roll double. Which I'm glad that bounced because if it didn't, I think they would have scored a run. So next play here, you can see. Um, they get a what looks like a sack fly to left. They throw it as hard as they can with um, Mike Morse, who's my left fielder, and he has a perfect throw right on home plate. So they end up tagging the runner out, and I swear there was only one out there, and I think that was the final out somehow. I'm not sure how. Oh, I guess I had a double play there. Okay, I'm retarded. Uh, I forgot he caught the ball there too. So uh, all right, here we are in, I'm not sure what inning, but I get a base hit at uh, a shortstop with B.J. Upton. Yeah, when I watched that, I was like, there's only one out. I forgot I caught the ball there too. Okay, we're in the uh, bottom of the fourth, so... Next batter, uh, I think that was Martinez. Get another hit with him. So we got two on with no outs here. Uh, I had A Rod at the plate next, I want to say. Let me see. Uh, I hate these freaking replays. Let's see who we got up next. Yeah, I had up A Rod and accidentally cut his bat out for some reason, but I uh, struck out with him. Then I strike out with Morse on a bad pitch there for two outs. I don't know why I swung at that. That was kind of. Horrible. Uh, I got this guy Josh Rutledge up. He's been my shortstop, and he's not been hitting well at all this postseason. But uh, I'm in a 0-0 count here. This is the first pitch of the at bat. I think it was a slider. It just looked like it was going outside, but I ended up getting all of that one. So it's a three-run home run. Um, their center fielder almost caught that. I got lucky he didn't, because that would have, that would have got pissed. I would have probably broke my controller if he caught that. So um, get a three-run home run there to give us a two-run lead, which is nice, because like I said, I'm facing for Lander, and I know. I'm not going to get him on pitch count, so the only way to get him out of the game is to score a crap, crap load of runs on him, because he's too good to get, he can pitch like 140 pitches a game, so I know I'm not going to wear him out, so I need to score runs to have them take him out of the game, and then that's what I wanted to do, because maybe once I get their relief pitchers in, then I could do some damage against them, but thankfully I had that home run. Here, uh, we're in the bottom of the eighth, they had two on, and Fielder grounds out into a double play, which really helps me out there, and um... I don't know, I was going to talk about, I saw the Blue Jays just made some big trades. Um, first, they just signed Melky Cabrera, two years, 60 million bucks. So, um, I know he did steroids, but he still hit like 350 or something for half the season last year. So, that's a big acquisition for them. And then they ended up getting Jose Reyes, uh, Josh Johnson, who is one of the more underrated pitchers. I think he's one of the top pitchers in the National League. I think he's a top five pitcher. He's just kind of underrated because he played with Florida for all those years when they sucked. And then uh, Mark Burley, who's another great pitcher. So, uh, the Marlins have been getting rid of everybody. They get rid of all those guys. They get rid of Heath Bell, and um, I think that's all. They might get rid of somebody else, though, but they just shed their entire payroll. They fired Ozzy Guillen. Um, basically, they signed all these guys. They had a huge payroll last year. You get a new stadium. 
they had one pretty uh, horrific year, and they got rid of everybody, which I don't know if anyone's a Marlins fan who, watch, who watches these or not, but um, leave in the comments what you think about it. I mean, that sucks that they had one failed year, so they're just going to get rid of everybody and have, like, a triple-A roster, which uh, you know what it feels like because they've been a Pirates fan forever, and at least they have a good team now. They've sucked so long, so finally they're at least good. But, yeah, that sucks that the Marlins did that, and... Um, I don't know why they had to do that. It's kind of they're screwing over their fan base. They're gonna get nobody going to their games now unless they just start winning with these guys. They still have that Giancarlo Stanton, who's a uh, great player, but I'd assume they'd probably get rid of him at the trade deadline if they can get anything for him. Cause uh, I don't know, he's a like I said, he's one of the best. He's probably the best player in their team. And he's a really good outfielder. He's a top outfielder in the National League. But um, yeah, the Blue Jays will be a team to compete with this year because I don't think the Red Sox are gonna be that good. They don't. They didn't really sign anybody yet. Um, Yankees will be good. Um, yeah, I think Yankees and Blue Jays will be the top two teams in that division. The Rays are always competitive, too. Let's see what they do. But uh, we end up winning the World Series here with this franchise, which is good because I think I won it for one other team. I want to say I won it with the Nationals. I, I think it was the Nationals, unless it was somebody else. But uh, my last few franchise franchise mode video thingies have failed pretty bad. <laughs> um I think the last one I did, I missed the playoffs. So I missed the playoffs with the first two years with the Brewers. This is the third season I used them, and we ended up winning the World Series. So that's cool. I'm going to take a break from this game for a while and just play some Black Ops 2 post game play of that and stuff. But I'll get back to this game in a little while. Uh, I'm just kind of bored of it. And then uh, once the show 13 comes out, I'll post some videos of that. I might buy NHL 13. I'm not sure because I traded in Madden for uh, money towards Black Ops 2, and I kind of want another game to play, just not that one. Just like something else to play too. So. I don't know if I'd post gameplay of that or not, because I think it's kind of boring to watch NHL uh, gameplay, but you end up winning the World Series here, so, um, alright, that's the end of this video, so, I'll have some Black Ops 2 videos up soon, so, uh, alright, bye.